It's not travel. You just sat here for a wedding. No, that's how it is. Just keep playing. Hi, I'm Bradley. And I'm Taylor. And what you just saw is something that is happening in a lot of schools. It isn't very nice, but it does happen. But is what we just saw bullying? Bullying is something that we hear lots about, and it is a very important topic. There is no place in our schools for bullying, but we must do everything we can to stop it. But what exactly is bullying? If I disagree with you and we end up having an argument or even fighting about it, does that make one of us a bully? No, we are just having a conflict, and that is what we are here to help everyone understand a little better. The difference between conflict and bullying. Conflict is a mutual disagreement, dispute, or argument involving a difference of opinions, ideas, or interests between two opposing individuals or groups. It is a two-sided situation. Each person has an active role in the conflict. Conflict can be resolved properly, but sometimes conflict can lead to hostile feelings and attitudes. Those bad feelings can often lead to inappropriate actions and lots more problems. So in that first clip, we saw those two boys were, had, were in a conflict. They definitely had a difference of opinion, and each boy had a role in the conflict. And it definitely led to some inappropriate actions. Too bad they couldn't solve it with a little cool down and some words. But wasn't the boy who shoved the other one down a bully? Well, the label of bully is taking it too far. In order for someone to be a bully, you have to have three parts. Number one, there is an intent to harm, hurt, or humiliate another individual's feelings self-esteem, reputation, or physically harm their body. It is a one-sided action. Second, it is a repeated or persistent activity. It happens over and over again and again. Third, there is a real or perceived power imbalance based on size, age, intelligence, race, status, groups, size, or anything else that creates a power imbalance between the two sides. I see. And this seemed to be a one-time event, and I don't think they were trying to humiliate or harm one another until the pushing at the end. But they were both doing it, and it didn't really seem like one had a lot of power of the other. Right. Now take a look at a situation and see if you think there's an, this is a conflict or a bully. Hi, Park Guard. Now that was bullying, right? The one boy was trying to hurt the other boy, physically and with his words. The one boy was smaller and was having trouble getting away. And he mentioned how the bigger boy has done it other times too. That fits all three required parts of the definition of a bully, intent to harm, repeated activity, and power imbalance. Sometimes it is easy to tell the difference between a conflict and bullying. But sometimes it is a bit trickier. Take a look at these next few clips. Stop watching after each one and think or talk about whether you think it is a conflict or bullying. Have the definitions of conflict and bullying on hand. It'll help you figure them out. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Your bag was on my hook. Well, sorry I put on your hook. Doesn't mean you have to put it on the ground. Well, then put your stuff on the right hook. Well, sorry. Doesn't work. You're so stupid. You big loser! Okay, can you guys go to music, please? 
Go, go, go. Please follow each other. Quiet line, please. Hey, nice chicken legs. <laughs> Uh, okay, thank you for finishing work on that. We'll work on the project now. So if you want to get up and move to wherever you want to move with, but make sure you're working on the project, please. some good starting points for discussion about conflict and bullying. And we also hope that by being more aware of what the difference between conflict and bullying is, you will be more prepared to deal with each, resolving conflicts when they arise, and helping to stop bullying whenever you see it. Thanks for watching.